Hey there, class. Welcome to the third episode of this series. Once again, as Johnny Benson, we're taking the 2002 season in NASCAR Thunder 2003. And, well, look at that. We have the points lead after a third place finish and a ninth place finish. So, I guess we're the most consistent so far this season. Pretty amazing, don't you think? Let's take a look at where Kyle Petty would be now. Let me switch my display over. There we go. Where did... Oh, he's all the way down to 13th. So, after last week... That's it. After the last race here, we got the pull. <laughs> Front runner award goes to Sean Robinson for leading the most laps. Ford Burton gets the all charged up award. Fast pace goes to Bobby Lamani. Frank Kimmel made the most exciting pass of the race. The rookie of the year points so far. Jimmy Johnson is still holding strong. We're tied with Sterling Marlin for the pole award. This is the first jackpot five race, so it's going to be a wonder who's going to get that. Uh, one million dollars and then Dodge is still leading the manufacturer points Chevy and Pontiac tied for second there and lap champion is Sean Robinson <laughs> so let's let's just head into Las Vegas you know Las Vegas is going to be a fun race. I, I, I keep remembering. I was running a career mode once, and using when I was like a uh, nine or ten, and I kept hitting the wall in turns one, two, three, and four all the turns, and I was getting so frustrated. <laughs> I remember it so clearly. But anyways, we're going to qualify without setups from now on. Because I don't want to start with an unfair advantage all the way up front, you know? I want to have to work my way up front a little bit. Pretty fast down the back stretch. Down through turns three and four off of turn four. And here we go. We're going to start our qualifying. One more time around. Oh, well, we already started it, but we're in 24th on the board so far. Off of turn 2, I didn't pull a very fast corner to there. Try to hold it on the bottom here in 3 and 4. Can't really do that that well. Off of turn four, here we go. Are we going to improve on our time? No. A little bit. That's going to stick us in 24th once again. Just like Daytona. Well, <laughs> it's setup time. NASCAR Winston Cup Racing has hit the jackpot this week as we come to Las Vegas Motor Speedway for today's UAW Daimler Chrysler 400. I'm Joe Moore along with Barney Hall. We'll be bringing you all the action right here on the MRN. Barney, what can you tell us about this racetrack? Well, I think we'll see lots of green flag racing in this one. The track is wide and smooth and there are multiple grooves to work with here. Sometimes the cars can get very spread out in this one. Michael Waltrip joined DEI at the start of the 2001 season and got a win in his very first race for his new team. He followed that up with some very impressive runs at the restrictor plate tracks. He's always had a knack for drafting and with top-notch equipment, you'll be sure to see him up near the front. Johnny Benson won the Bush Series championship in 1995. That championship was sandwiched between two Rookie of the Year awards. He won the Bush Series award in 1994, followed up his championship with Winston Cup rookie honors in 96. In front row are the DuPont Chevrolet and the Lowe Chevrolet. In 
the second row are the Team Rusty Ford in the 63 car. Starting the race from row three are the Tide Ford and the Caterpillar Dodge. The fourth row has the GM Goodwrench Service Plus Chevrolet and the Dodge Dealers UAW Dodge. Starting the race from row five will be the Kellogg Chevrolet and the 26 car. In row six, we have the America Online Chevrolet and the Ganassi Racing Dodge. Starting from row seven will be the Sitco Ford and the 37 car. In the eighth row are the Mark Martin Ford and the Target Dodge. In the ninth row, we have the Haviland Ford and the Dale Jr. Chevrolet. In the tenth row are the UPS Ford and the Altel Ford. Starting the race from row 11 are the Dodge Dealers UAW Dodge and the Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet. Johnny Vincent, the NASCAR Weston Cup points leader, will begin the race from the middle of the field. Row 13 finds the 23 car and the DeWalt Power Tools for it. The 14th row has the Rubbermaid Ford and the 46 car. In row 15 are the Sirius Satellite Radio Dodge and the Interstate Batteries Pontiac. Starting the race from row 16 are the Cheerios Dodge and the 16 car. Row 17 has the 55 car and the Kodak Chevrolet. Starting in row 18 will be the Pennzoil Chevrolet and the Motorcraft Ford. In row 19 are the M&M's Pontiac and the UAW Delphi Chevrolet. In row 20 are the 45 car and the Singular Wireless Chevrolet. Back in row 21 we have the 27 car and the 98 car. And rounding out the field is the BAM Racing Dodge. Well, John Robinson starting in the back after winning last week, and the green flag is flying, and we're racing at Las Vegas. Stewart's gonna clear us. I want to get to the inside, but there's no room there. Gonna have to get up behind Wimmer here. I think that's Wimmer. It might be Bill Lester, but I'm pretty sure it's Scott Wimmer. And to his inside, we're going to take 24th back. Ooh, all the way down to the apron trying to get by Tony Stewart. Just two seconds back now, two seconds. Tony just had a little bit of a moment there. Three wide. We're carrying a lot of momentum right now. Up the 20th. Fighting our way up front. Casey Mears there. Whoa! Got down to Kenseth there by accident. Well, it's not Casey Mears, by the way. It's Jim Dispenser. I made a mistake. <laughs> I realized multiple seconds later. Oh, <laughs> I was looking down at my phone. And I accidentally ran into him. Moving up through the field pretty well. We're in 18th right now. Now 17th. Now let's watch as I accidentally run Mark Martin off the track again. Whoa. Huge run. At least we can probably pass Mark cleanly this time. There we go. Try to get by Sterling Marlin here. 
I have a feeling we'll be trying for the lead soon enough. If I make a weird jolt or just stop driving altogether, I'm looking at down at a notification because they're still going off. Oh, trouble right in front of us. We run into Ricky Rudd and then Kevin Harvick into the back of Jimmy Johnson. We have to, we have a blown tire. Huge trouble on lap five. Now it might take us out of contention for this race already. I almost made it through. I just didn't react in time. I'm gonna try to limp to the line on the apron here. It's, the controller is vibrating so violently, my hands feel weird. Looks like Arvid got turned by Jimmy. <laughs> and then I piled in by accident. <laughs> I got... The momentum carried me right into the back of Jimmy there. Looks like we have some DNS, maybe? No. Never mind. But anyways, we got a pet for damage now. I think this might work out for us in fuel, but I'm not sure. The Definitely gonna need damage repair. We're missing part of the front of the car. Look at that. Everything else is perfectly fine. <laughs> Everything on the front. And maybe the right side. Oh, it looks yellow, so... I think it's cool that it actually shows the tire being blown. Which is something that was never included in other developers' NASCAR games. It, the wheel still looks fully intact, it's just... They just say it's blown. Oh hey, they added some parts to our car. How nice of them. Green flag is waving, we're racing again at Rockingham. Far behind contention, but hey, if we were able to do this at Rockingham, we're gonna be able to do this at Las Vegas. I think I might have said Rock Green Flag at Rockingham earlier, but I'm not sure. Very close call in the back bumper, Casey Kane. Right on the back of. Terry Nadu ran into him by accident. Get by last week's winner, Sean Robinson. He's all the way back here for some reason. <laughs> Try to get around. I think this is Mike Skinner on the high side. It's probably Mike Skinner. No, I don't think we're going to be good on field. Oh, Robbie. Robbie Gordon. Got right in our way there. Looks like some cars are gonna peel off. I might as well pit with them to stay on strategy, you know? I don't wanna risk... I don't wanna risk, like, running out of fuel right at the end, you know? Cause that'd be heartbreak. Too late, but I broke him down this time. I broke too early and then I broke way too late. Whoa, trying to block us there. And he got the bump and run treatment. Breaks at the last second, try to reach pit road on pit speed. There we go. Uh, we don't need tires. I, that might be poor call, but we don't need tires. Not right now. We're just gonna get fuel and damage repair.
they did literally nothing in damage repair, so that was pointless. But we're out in 36, probably a lap down. Mm -hmm. We're a lap down now. Probably should have spawned for tires, but I don't know. If, if the tires wear and they blow right at the end, well, that's going to be my fault on it. We're halfway home. There's plenty of time to still get a good finish. Stay focused out there. We're getting another position. <laughs> I thought I just heard him say they're serving hot dogs on sticks down there. Just because uh, the TV is kind of quiet right now because there are people in my house that are asleep, so I'm trying to do this quietly. Cars are pitting. Mm. Yeah, that's right, Newman. Don't pit. Evil person. So looks like that's a leader in front of me right there. Which is Rusty Wallace. I don't think I'm going to be able to grab the win or a top five, but maybe a top ten. Maybe. That's a big maybe. If a caution comes out, then yeah, definitely, but... Looks like he's gonna pit, so we're gonna get our lap back here. Well, who knows, we might even cycle out to the lead somehow. Even though I kind of doubt that. Who knows, you know. I think there are some cars that haven't pit yet, but I'm not fully sure. Because I don't think those guys in the back are... just, just have that good pit crews. Those guys leading from the back there. That's in the rear view mirror. I don't think their pit crews are just that okay. good. We're clear. Ooh! Jeff got into us. Might as well just let him by. Don't want to battle aggressively here just yet. Your left front tire is a little worn. Oh crap, are the tire oh the tires are wearing already. Oh good oh lord. Alright, so the leaders are heading down to pit road, so that means they're going in from the back. So I think that might mean Jeff Gordon is the leader, so I just gave up the lead. <laughs> Crap. I can battle to hold on to second here, and uh, never mind. The tires are driving me up the track. I definitely should have taken tires. Oh, now I overdrove it. This is going to be a good opportunity for Junior. Ooh, nice block from me. Are they seriously leading from the back? Holy crap, man. I think Jeff Gordon's going to win this race. So he'll be the first non-joke winner this season. More leaders coming to pit. Junior's gonna go all the way down to the apron to try and get me. And I showed him that wasn't a good idea. Oh god, we got two lanes to hold off now. So the leader is going to be Jeff Gordon now. So we have second place right now. And... Uh, I'm desperately trying to defend it against Junior here. And now Dale Jarrett on the inside. Ah, damn. We're gonna have to let Jarrett by. I don't think there's any other course of action I can take here. And by... And of course, that means Junior's gonna have a chance. 
Gonna try to snip some draft off of Jarrett and keep Junior behind me here. Get into his front there. Try and hold him back with a defensive block. I went too high though, so ooh, into the wall. Oh god. Rusty, again? Two straight races. Come on, buddy. Why? Two <laughs> straight races that he's tried to kill me. Might be able to pass Sterling here if I can keep it behind him in the draft. But I also got to hold off Rusty here, so... I think it might be easier just to try to hold off Rusty instead of getting the draft. Well, maybe I can get him from the draft. I don't know. Oh, God, I'm... Penske's right behind me. Both of the Penske cars. They're right behind me. They're really going at it. For, they're really going for it right now. Well, <laughs> there goes uh, two positions. I might e not even get a top ten here. Everyone's blunked up behind me. Ooh, taking six back, maybe fifth. No, no, Jeff, Jeff Green, no. Alright, I'm fine with the top 10 at least, but we're running out of fuel. Oh god. I thought we were all good on pits for everything. But everything's going down the shitter. That's Ricky Rudd right behind us. I didn't recognize him. That's a weird paint scheme. Someone blew an engine that looks like it's Kyle Petty. Daytona 500 winner Kyle Petty. Bad luck continues. White flag is waving. I'm up into the wall. Oh god. I think my top 10 might be gone. Bill Elliott. Bill Elliott just. Oh god. Oh no. Oh. Oh, Jeff Green is flipping. Jeff Green is in the air. Oh no. What have I done? Jeff Green! Oh no, we're running out of fuel. Just go, Bill. Just go. I don't care. Just go. We're gonna come across the line with another ninth place finish. We flipped Jeff Green on the last lap. Jeff Gordon wins. Oh, there's someone on fire in the infield. Well, to be honest, Joe, I'm a little surprised that we didn't have more leaders. Just goes to show that with the right setup and the right strategy, you really can dominate a NASCAR Winston Cup. I'm going to try to get a thumbnail shot from one of these. I can't believe I flipped Jeff Green. <laughs> there's me moving. I think that's Dale Jarrett out of the way. Ooh, that's Jeff Green. <laughs> There's... Oh, boy. Here's that funny time I flipped Jeff Green. Alright, that's a good thumbnail shot. Take a look at where your favorite driver finished. It's only 30 lead changes, eh? I'm sorry, Jeff Green fans. I kind of screwed him out of a win, didn't I? A win. Top, uh, top something. I don't know. <laughs> Look at all these DNFs. All from that last lap crash. <laughs> oh, God. I killed a lot of races. Jimmy Johnson DNF and Ryan Newman top 10, so that means Rookie of the Year is going to be flipped on its ass. Well, <laughs> Jeff Gordon, I think, I think that's a jackpot five. Let's take a look. 
awards and it is jackpot five award winner is Jeff Gordon Frank Kimmel is second in rookie of the year standings this is what happens when you DNF Jimmy holy crap he has a 20th average finish <laughs> Jimmy what happened <laughs> Manufacturer points still dodge. Chevy's catching up a bit. Pontiac fell way back. Benson now down to third. Jeff Gordon just comes out of nowhere. And the point standings. We are in fourth. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is taking the points lead. Finishing top ten in all three races so far. I'm sorry about that. That was a cat in the hallway. It just randomly decided to run. But as of right now, there are... There are nearly 20... There are 21 drivers within one race of the points lead right now. A lot of shuffling around going on, but, you know... <laughs> that's going to do it for this episode. The next race will be Atlanta, I believe. I wasn't paying attention, but I think it's Atlanta. And I'm really good at Atlanta, so maybe that'll be his first win. But, anyways, that is going to do it for this episode. I will see you in the next one. Class, class dismissed.